welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. In this video and the next one, we're going to look at how to answer exam questions. If you follow my advice, you'll gain extra marks. Let's start with a few essential exam tips. Firstly, timing. You'll need a watch in your exam. If you haven't got a watch, you need to buy one or borrow one. AQA GCSE science exams have got 60 marks each and are 60 minutes long. That means you've got one minute for every mark. So, for example, do not spend more than four minutes on a question worth four marks. Here's the next tip. Sometimes you'll come to a question where you simply do not know the answer. My advice is to leave it blank and move on. That's because you could waste several minutes on this question and gain no marks at all. You could use that time better on other questions that you're more likely to answer correctly. When you finish the other questions, go back and look again at the ones that you left blank. Now the answer might be more obvious. If you still do not know the answer, then just guess. Do not leave the question blank, as that would definitely get you no marks. Here's tip number three, finishing. When I'm in the exam hall, I often see students who finished and they close their papers, even when they have loads of time left. That's the wrong thing to do. If you finish early, go back through the questions, carefully checking that you've answered each question properly. I'd suggest checking the last question first, as the questions get harder towards the end of the paper. Have you really answered what the question is asking? Can you add more detail or a better scientific word? Have you left any question blank? You could easily find that you pick up a couple of marks by doing this. Here's tip number four. After the exam, it's tempting to discuss the answers with your friends or on social media. Don't do this. If you do, you're likely to find that you've made mistakes. At this stage, there's nothing you can do. So what's the point of even thinking about it? You need to put it out of your head and get ready for the next exam. You also need to remember that you can lose a lot of marks and still get a decent grade. These are the grade boundaries for the AQA Unit 2 Higher Papers in 2015. So don't panic if you think you got a question wrong. It's not the end of the world. OK, coming up, we're going to look at how to approach different types of questions. So in the exams, there are certain command words that you're going to see, and you need to know how to approach them. The first command word is state. This requires you to simply give a fact. You're not expected to explain why. Here's an example. State what's meant by an exothermic reaction. Here's the answer, a reaction which releases energy. Now, here's an important tip. Do not rewrite the question in the answer as it's a waste of time. This student has written, an exothermic reaction is a reaction which releases energy. This is a correct answer, but they've wasted time rewriting the question. Here's the next command word, suggest. This means give a reasonable scientific answer. There are likely to be several correct answers to this question rather than one. Here's an example. Suggest why the use of biofuels is increasing. There are several possible answers here. For example, fossil fuels are running out. Biofuels are more carbon neutral than fossil fuels. Biofuels may be cheaper. Here's the next command word, describe. This means state the features of something. For example, a graph or a table or even a scientific process. Here's a typical question. Describe how the amount of glucose produced depends on the temperature. And the question has given you a graph to work with. So we have to state the features of this graph. We can see that the amount of glucose produced increased from zero grams at zero degrees Celsius, reaching a maximum of four grams at 40 degrees Celsius. It then fell sharply to zero grams at 50 degrees Celsius. It's really important to include examples from the data when you're describing a graph or a table. Also, remember that if you're describing a graph or a table, you need to link the data. So in the case of this graph, you'd get no marks if you simply said, the line goes up and then it goes down. You must describe it in terms of the amount of glucose and the temperature. Here's another describe question. Describe in terms of electrons what happens when an atom of sodium reacts with an atom of chlorine. Here's the answer. An electron moves from the sodium atom to the chlorine atom. This produces a positive sodium ion and a negative chloride ion. Can you see that we've simply said what happens? We haven't tried to explain why it happens because the question didn't ask that. If the question also says explain why, 
then we'd say in order that they both achieve a full outer energy level. In the next video, we look at some more command words, how to answer the essay question, questions on ethics, and questions involving calculations. Thank you.